how you guys and welcome to another deep conversation with your girl Sha. i hope you're doing well on today happy wednesday we all made it to the middle of the week so you already know what that means we get real close to the weekend and i wish we could get real close to some warm weather okay because i'm gonna need spring to fight back girl act like you want to be here show up I feel like we literally about to go from winter straight into summer because spring ain't came, it ain't sprung, nothing, okay? But I guess that's enough of the weather report. Let's get into a little bit of the mess, but before we get too deep in our conversation, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, share it out, hit the notification bell, all of the above, and then some, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into the mess where we have Mr. Dunn, oh, Dunn, Juan Dixon constantly embarrassing Robin, and then we're going to throw Marceau in there for being just as an embarrassment, okay? So let's go ahead and start out with Juan Dixon, okay? So we already know that him and Robin wedded maybe, what, a few months ago, I think it was September of last year, where they actually tied the knot so they say and here it is not even a year later we barely up on the six month mark and this man has been embarrassing robin non-stop now here's the crazy part because i don't ever feel like one ever stopped cheating that's number one but it almost seems like now that you supposedly marry and back in a relationship with robin it's like you don't care about what comes out, what happened. I feel like you was more secretive when y'all wasn't married. Now that you married, child, you just out in the open and doing whatever. And I'm sure Robin is going to come out with some type of explanation as, as to why her maid is at the nail shop with another woman. We've seen him and this woman more than we have seen y'all out and about. What is the problem? And one, why are you keep embarrassing this lady? Moreover, you are also in the light. You did just lose your job. Your wife may be on the chopping block of losing hers as well. I'm going to need you to get it together. You know the spotlight is on you. You know they're watching you at every moment, waking of the hour. Why are you out here very publicly with another woman? Now, I'm sure you can say, oh, we're ex-co-workers. Oh, we're friends. Oh, we this. But at this point, the optics are real. So it doesn't matter what you say because you got so much against you as being a cheater. So the, the we're friends type situation ain't going to fly with you, bruh. I'm going to need you to go have several seats. And Robin, if you come out here trying to defend this man, I'm, I've am i already been done with you, Robin, but I'm really going to be done with you. There's nothing that you can say. You need to be talking to him and not to us because he's the one embarrassing you and we're going to be here to tell you and remind you of it every time. Now, since we're talking about embarrassment, let's get on over here to Mr. Marceau. We already know that Marceau don't have no problem as to going up against his wife. He would, man, look, he would throw her up under the bus like it's nothing and nothing short of different from today. Y'all already know I haven't been uh, reviewing DC. I actually got to the point to where I stopped watching it because it was just way too much for me when it came down to Jamie Jr. and Jamie, but I may come back to looking at it. But anyway, I, you know, I see the headlines. I be seeing what the people be talking about. And we know that Jamie and Arena had this specialist to come in. Well, the specialist told, you know, Jamie and Arena that they was bold and open. And here come Marceau in the comments, as usual, saying that this lady needs to come down here to Huntsville and want Carlos to set up the arrangement. Now, here's the thing. I don't feel like Tisha will go for that. One, I don't see her being that openly about y'all sexual activities. I feel like whatever she said as of late is to show other women that, oh, I got this on lock, but I don't feel like you got it on lock. You know, my 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 thought process of a lot of things, if it has to be explained, it actually maybe is not what it really is. You know, I everything don't need an explanation you will see it for what it is that's just me but who am i right um so he came down here it looks like an um to me it's another embarrassing thing to insinuate that 
your wife isn't doing all the things that she proclaiming to be doing and you're wanting this to be shown um another thing is even when it came down to jamie and arena like i'm not mad at it but don't nobody want to see y'all who wants to imagine it but anyway the embarrassment of it all for one i need y'all to get to the point to where y'all stop putting this out here in y'all throwing this stuff in y'all women face like ain't y'all tired letitia and robin like y'all gotta be tired of the embarrassment but anyway that's all i got which i just want to tell y'all how they a big old embarrassment out here in these streets all right so i plan on going live tonight we're going to talk about these escapes ladies honey baby because we can't look they won't let this go and neither will i so let's keep as long as they talking we gonna talk okay so we're gonna review the episode tamika saying that uh she got the receipts which we already knew honey tasha said she used this as a storyline baby we got some things to get into so i'll see y'all tonight and don't forget to drop down in the comments so we can finish our conversation from there i'll see you guys and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye